Bonjour à tous, j'espère que vous allez bien. Aujourd'hui, je vais parler sur le sujet Halloween. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today is Halloween. It is October 31st. It's one of my absolute favorite holidays of the entire year. And I want to talk about a few French cartoons and programs and a few platforms that I use to incorporate all things kind of spooky, spooky season into my French language learning. So let's go. So first things first, let's just go right over to probably my top favorite, penultimate, YouTube. That's my favorite platform for language learning. My number one reason, I probably will say this in every single video, it's free. You do not have to have a subscription to watch videos on YouTube. I love that so much. I really, really hope they never change that. I know that there is a subscription option, but you don't have to have it to be able to access all the great content that already exists. So what do I watch on, on YouTube for Halloween and French? Now, some of you may kind of scoff at this if you are similar age or possibly older than me, but I have watched so many French children's programs and cartoons on YouTube. I know some people that feel a little weird or maybe a little embarrassed about watching programming that's designed for like kindergartners, preschoolers even, but I mean, we all have to start somewhere and I have learned so much from watching programs that are designed for children of like pre-K, kind of talking like ages three, four, five, six. Um, I've learned so much French by, by doing that because it's at a pace that I can comprehend or I, I'm a little bit beyond that now, but that I could comprehend before. I understood, I recognized the vocabulary and really again, back to like the speed, the dialogue was just at a great speed because we're, we're learning, we all started somewhere. So the programs that I'm going to talk about on YouTube are designed for children, but I think you'll probably enjoy them, especially if you look at it as a vehicle to help you learn and to help work on your comprehension. So the key phrase here, when you're searching for things on YouTube and you want to find French cartoons, dessin animé, D-E-S-S-I-N-A-N-I-M-E, -S -S with I think an accent aigu, dessin animé. This is your this is your like ticket into finding French cartoons. You can type in also as well French cartoons, but I find that if you type this in in French, the options that are presented to you are, are much more vast. You have a lot more to choose from and it's not, you're not going to have English videos sprinkled in. Pretty much it's all going to be French cartoons. Top ones are going to be, um, you know, Peppa Pig Halloween is one that I saw. It's really cute. There's a program called Zoo, Z-O-U, which is like a little zebra family. Again, I've watched a ton of those videos. They're in French, French dialogue. And I have used, honestly, I have an example from this, this show Zoo where I have learned vocabulary and taken it and brought it into like an adult class and said, what does this phrase mean? Help me. I asked the teacher. The word, uh, the, the, it was a greeting. It was cuckoo, cuckoo. I'd never heard that before. I'd heard salut, I'd heard bonjour. I'd never heard anyone say cuckoo before. Didn't know what it meant. I had to say like, well, what context do I use this? I apologize. There's a big siren going off right now. Let's wait. Hope everyone's okay. Okay. Um, but yeah, cuckoo was a phrase that I learned from this program and it makes a lot of sense if you know about, it's an expression that's used very familiar. It's like family, children. It was the grandparent zebra talking to the grandchild zebra. It's all cuckoo. So it made a lot of sense, but that's something that you can start using, you know, when you're having your own conversations, if you know how to use it correctly. So there is a lot to be gained from watching French cartoons that aren't necessarily geared towards adults. I'm a big cartoon lover myself. I watch, you know, Bob's Burgers. I'm a huge Bob's Burgers fan, was a huge Simpsons fan, The Great North, um, Adventure Time. So it is something that is in kind of my wheelhouse anyway. But um, I think it can, there's something to be learned and there's a benefit for everyone uh, watching these programs. So don't let, don't let like societal standards of you're an adult, I can't watch a kid's program stop you. Like stop you from potentially learning something and gaining knowledge, right? So... 
that's what I primarily watch on YouTube for French programs. I've not been able to find adult or like kind of even teen level um, stuff, just pretty much really basic kind of for children. So if you have children and maybe you're a family and you're all kind of learning together, that would be such a great opportunity to incorporate a season that they probably love um, or a holiday that they probably love, excuse me, and then, you know, some French learning. So let's transition really quickly over to the next platform, which does come with a little bit of a price, but it is worth it, I must admit. It is the Disney Plus platform. And here's the cool thing that I learned about the Disney Plus platform, is you can actually create a profile in English and then a profile in another language. I, of course, chose French. So my partner has his profile that is English and we use that primarily when we're watching shows together. And then I created a separate profile for myself and I changed the language to French. So everything I'm reading on the app is in French. Everything I'm watching, mm, there's a caveat to this, everything I'm watching the titles will at least be in French, but you do need to be selective and look through and make sure that the the dialogue is actually in French. Not every single show, movie, program will be in French in terms of the actual dialogue. The subtitles will probably be there in French, but you may not. If you're looking for pure comprehension in just actually absorbing the French language, I would just take a look, take a gander. There's a way to do it. Um, and make sure that the dialogue is actually going to be in French. And I happened to do a little bit of my homework ahead of time and looked at a few programs that I did myself double check and make sure that the dialogue will be in French. And there are some Halloween classics that I know that if you um, are a Halloween lover that you've probably watched these programs. So let's talk about those. Let me pull up my list here in my squeaky squeaky chair let's see okay so we have to start he's the king of halloween it, it's it's tim burton and it's nightmare before christmas is the english name and then in french it is la tranche noël de monsieur jacques la tranche la tranche noël de monsieur jacques so the strange christmas of mr jack um which is actually really endearing and that's fits something that i've always been curious about is Nightmare Before Christmas a Christmas movie or a Halloween movie? I can't decide. It feels more Halloween, but then it's also Christmas. I don't know. I tend to watch it around around uh, Halloween. So that is songs, dialogue, all in French. The next is a live action and a little bit of word of warning, word of caution with live action. It gets a little awkward because it's dubbed. Originally, Hocus Pocus, right? Hocus Pocus is the movie I'm talking about. Hocus Pocus was originally made with English dialogue in the English language. And so Abracadabra, Abracadabra 2, I'm not going to say that with a French accent because there's so many R's and I feel like I'll be very like exposed. But Abracadabra, Abracadabra 2, um, those are in French and the dialogue is dubbed in French. So I... I probably won't watch those if you want to and you want to check it out, but I don't really like dubbed audio. I, my brain struggles a little bit with how like awkward the timing is. So moving on um, is Legend of Sleepy Hollow. This is probably the most iconic Halloween movie and an absolute favorite and I watch it every single year without fail. This is in French. Um, I I don't know if the songs are in French, but the dialogue is 1000% in French, which is cool because you got Bing Crosby, even though it's not Bing Crosby, it's like French Bing Crosby. And then you also have included in this the Mr. Toad story. So both of these are in French. I would say you can watch Mr. Toad, it's a great story, but if you really want classic Halloween, just skip through. I think it starts with Mr. Toad and then it goes into The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, Ich Ichabod Crane. And the Excuse me, the French title is Comte d'Automne et de Printemps. Comte d'Automne et de Printemps. Tales of Autumn and Spring. And so that one is top, top on the list, I think. If you watch anything, watch that one. And my last, like, little cartoon movie short that I want to talk about on the Disney Plus app is uh, the Trick or Treat, which is the English name uh, for this. It features Donald Duck and his three little nephews, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. And um, in the French title is uh, Donald et la Saucière. 
So Donald and the witch. Witch, 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 witch. But I think that actually makes more sense <laughs> for the what goes on in that story. If you've seen it, uh, there is a, a classic kind of back and forth between Donald and a witch. So that makes sense. That one is adorable. I couldn't leave out our little like Mickey, Mickey and Friends pals. Uh, so yeah, that's going to do it for this video and for these uh, recommendations. And I hope that these are helpful. Maybe maybe there's something on here that you didn't know. Maybe you didn't know that you could switch your profile. So I hope that you find these uh, recommendations like enjoyable, helpful potentially, and that you have just like the best last day of spooky season. I know that we do have in other, in their other cultures, obviously, that there is Dia de los Muertos. Um, I am not a Spanish speaker, so wow, do I apologize for that. Uh, Dia de los Muertos. Um, and so there is a continuation. But as for Halloween, we've come to the, come to the, the day. The day is upon us. And I hope that you guys are safe and have a great time and just incorporate a little bit of French in your uh, spooky season. So I will be back with another video of some type, of some sort. And yeah, that that's it. I almost just was like going to click off <laughs> and go bye. No, but thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you would like to subscribe or, uh, you know, uh, like the video, that would be awesome. You can hit the notification bell. And um, I'm doing my best to try to put something out once a week. Life's been busy and I will try my best to put one out um, very, very soon. But thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye. Salut. Merci.